I started the business in Shannon in Ireland in 1996. Uh, I was a manager of an aerospace company based in Shannon, doing work for uh, mostly Boeing. Uh, when they decided to go back to LA, I decided to start up on my own with a guarantee of work for two years. So for the first two years, I was machining complex components for Boeing in Seattle. Uh, moved the business to England in 1998 uh, after most of my work was for companies in aerospace companies in England. So we decided to relocate to Coventry. Uh, in about the year 2000, the aerospace took a bit of a dive, so we decided to diversify into another business and we selected uh, the motorsport industry. So since then we have been um, machining complex parts for mostly AP racing, uh, parts for the brakes, the discs on all the top cars that you see on the road. Um, we have grown substantially year by year since the year 2000. And in the last three or four years, we have started heavily invested in five axis uh, machines. Uh, we have purchased three, uh, but we thought they were very expensive to run and maintain. So we decided uh, to go on the internet and look around and see what alternatives there was. We went on to MTD uh, website and we seen the Leadwell five axis machine and we um, chased it up and uh, we, purchased, we ended up purchasing it a V20 I. How is the machine? Now it's Absolutely brilliant. It's been cutting there now for a couple of months, two or three months, and it's never stopped. It's running 16 hours a day. Uh, accuracy is brilliant. We've never had a problem with it. Um, and these are the types of parts that you machine on the 5-axis? Yes, so uh, we machine a lot of calipers. Uh, for the racing industry um, on the five axis machine and, and the reason for that is because of the speeds and the feeds and being able to get uh, old faces in one the parts come off we know they're accurate because they're done within the same program it eliminates or well, loads of setups you know um, normally you, you're on a caliper you might have seven setups we're actually doing some of the parts in one setup in one operation coming off complete and the programming side, so pre your previous supplier of machines, it's a different programming. Yes, system. yes, we've gone with the FANUC, uh, which we, we have our own programming system within Camtech, and uh, there was no problem, it was just straightforward, uh, post-processor, just converted it into the FANUC. So, uh, and, and the FANUC control is easy to use? Very right? simple, very simple, yes. I, I, I'm not a programmer myself, but uh, from listening to the lads on the shop floor, I find that it's very easy to teach them. I'm now standing in front of the Leadwell V20IT. This is the machine that John told us about was less than £100,000. And I'm going to introduce Kevin, who's a CNC programmer and operator of this machine. Good morning, Kevin. Good morning. So the V20i, this is a high-speed five-axis machine. We've just been talking to John about it. Yeah. He says that this machine, compared to others in the machine shop, is great value for money. Yeah. Um, Tell us a little bit about your thoughts behind it. Uh, I, I really like the machine. I mean, uh, as far as the control goes, it's a panic control. Yeah. Uh, very, very operator friendly. The program side of it, very easy to understand and read. You know? do, you, do you program offline? We do all of 90% uh, of our programming offline, yeah. So when you send the program through to the machine, do you find that the panic control is easier to... Yes, I do, yeah. It's laid out more for the operators. You know, they're very easy to understand. And that's, yeah, so it's... And in terms of setting components on here, easy to get close to the machine? Very, very simple. I mean, as you can see, the machine's quite small anyway, so yeah. it's very acute. Everywhere that you got, you, you can get in, you know, get around it, it's very... It, it looks like, is that, is that uh, about 200mm diameter, that uh, table? I think it is, yeah, just over 10, uh, 8 inches, yeah. And you use a machine for five-face machining? That's right, yeah. Yeah, a lot of 3x2 positioning. So you'd be machining top face and then all the faces around the yeah. component. The only view of the face that we won't get to is obviously underneath. Yeah. The good thing about this machine though is that it goes past the 90. So if you have got any intricate working on the back. So you can you can achieve neg negative angle. Well, yeah, it goes around to about 130 degrees. Yeah. So it's very good. That always used to be a bit of a drawback with a five axis machine that you could only go to the 90. Yeah, that's great, I didn't yeah. realise you could go beyond. That is a, that is a big feature. Yeah, and then the tool changer here, you've got a, 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 a quite a quick tool changer, I yes, assume. Yeah. So, yeah. Although you're not using the machine for production. 
Uh, not at the minute, not at the minute. Oh, since we've had the machine, it's always been uh, like a five off parts. It's, uh, it's very intricate work, but hopefully eventually we will be doing short volume, uh, small batch work, but you know, a bit higher than the five off. Yeah. Well, all in all, looks like the, uh, the Leadwell V20 is certainly doing its job here at Camtech Engineering. I was very surprised that uh, after going onto the MTD site and finding that I could get a five axis for less than 100,000, I was amazed. Uh, oh, we've been involved now in five axis for about four years. This is the fourth one we've purchased. The first one we purchased four years ago for roughly about 120. Second one was 150,000 pound. Third one we went into um, over 200,000 pound. So for me to be able to buy a five axis machining centre for less than £100,000 I find really amazing and, and it's the way to go forward. So you could effectively get two spindles or two five axis machines? If I could reverse time I would have not bought the machine for 200000 over 200000 I would have bought two Leadwell machines but they weren't available at the time. Once we purchased the, the new machine which is the V40i that's a total investment for Camtech Engineering of over a million pounds in the last four years into new technology such as the five axis machines and uh, we've also purchased a CNC CMM. So previously the business was machining components for the aerospace industry, then as you said you moved into motorsport. What does the future hold? Uh, I haven't been involved in the motorsport industry now for the last 14 years. Uh, we are looking to expand our customer uh, clients we need to get into other industries as well because as you know industries can go up and down and we'd like to be we'd feel more safer if we were involved in maybe one or two more industries such as um, medical uh, maybe back into the aerospace and with new competitive five axis technology oh of course of course because before i found it very hard to get into companies to introduce camtech but with the addition of the five axis it makes us very um, viable for companies to put work our way if we're successful. So a good year ahead. Very good, very good for Camtech, thanks. <laughs>